welcome back to my channel my name's Poppy and if you're new here I do makeup videos here on YouTube um, and welcome to my channel if you are new because I have had a few new subscribers recently which I'm really happy about so thank you for subscribing and let's get started with the makeup video so today I am going to be doing kind of it won't be a full face of Colourpop but I do have a fair few of their liquid lipsticks um, eyeshadows like I filled my extra large Z palette up with them and I also yesterday received their foundation um, it's the no filter foundation in the liquid form and I got the shade fair 25 I don't know why I bother showing you because one it's backwards and two it never focuses but anyway um, but yeah so I'm just gonna use some primer first so I've really been liking as much as I love the Too Faced Hangover Primer, I've really been liking the Mecca Cosmetica Hydrating Primer lately. So I'm going to just use that and rub it all into my face. Now don't worry, I will be doing another video using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette um, soon. I just thought because I received the foundation from Colourpop yesterday, I thought I'd better do a video on that because why not okay so let's get on with doing my eyeshadow base first so of course I'm going to be using the P Louise base in the shade rumor 05 0.5 <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop it on this Morphe brush and Jaclyn Hill which is JH41 It is like really hot here today. I'm pretty sure it's like 40, I don't even know. It's at least 40, I reckon. So I've got the aircon going, I've got the fan going, and my dogs will probably be going through the room to get a drink. So if you can hear them in the background, sorry about that. But it is stinking hot here in Australia. So someone's finally arrived and it's really hot. So yeah. Now, I'm just going to pat that down with my beauty blender, which still really needs a clean. Good job, I only use makeup like on myself and I don't do it on anyone else, so don't worry. I'm just using dirty brushes and blenders on myself. Sorry, I'm still getting over this cough. It's getting there, but it's taking a while. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go for a colorful look today. Um, obviously my last video was just purple and I actually have all these beautiful shades to choose from. So, and also I'll show you. I got, as well as the foundation and a couple of extra shadows to help fill me up my palette. I got this super shock shadow here. It's in the shade Slave to Pink try and show you anyway nope and it did come broken but because of the formula you can kind of press it back together so like I'm not really going to complain about that because what's the point because it's just like a moussey kind of consistency anyway and this is it got a few new matte shades for this one too this one was a little bit more full and then I gave some to my sister and then I got some more. Whoops. So, but now that's my last order. I'm not expecting any more makeup, like no more. If I do get any more, I mean, hopefully it's a PR package because that would be awesome. But yeah, not ordering any more makeup. As I said before, like this year is the year of Getting through all the makeup I already have. So yeah, let's get on with it. <coughs> okay, so just going to not get that brush. I'm gonna try a couple of different brushes today from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill collection. 
So I'll still use a couple of the same like face brushes and stuff and I might need to use the same eye brush here and there. But other than that, we will see how we go. Okay. So yeah, they have heaps of eye brushes in here, like so many. And they still have that weird painty kind of smell to them, but that's all right, we'll get there. I think I found a couple of brushes I can use highlighter instead of the one I used for my last video. So like that, uh, there's like, yeah, that one I used for popping on this as well. But look at how many brushes there are. There are freaking heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps. So yeah, definitely worth the money, I would say. They are so soft and yeah, just amazing. So that looks like a crease brush. I need another brush. I'm gonna just use this one here. I'll leave them all out so I don't have to keep going back to it. And I need this one for my nose contour later. Okay. So, I'm gonna use this one here. It is the JH37. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, everyone. Right. So, what kind of colors am I gonna use today? Going to go in, I think, with this orange shade here. And I don't know I always do orange, but anyway. Look at it pop. Ooh, so pretty. Well, let's see if I can see in my mirror. There we go. That is beautiful. Now this one, I may as well tell you as I'm going, is in the shade Bratty. This little bright orange one here. And I haven't got long to go until I'm back at work. So by the time this video is posted, it'll be Sunday. So it'll be my last day before going back to work. So that'll be fun. I don't know. Once so I'm necessarily looking forward to it or not looking forward to it, like, it's work, so you just gotta go, I guess. It's gotta do what you gotta do. Now using the same brush, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna get this hot pink shade here. This one is the shade Sandbar, and it's a new one as well. Yeah, so I don't know if I've kind of told you guys on this channel yet, but I work at a dentist, so I'm a dental assistant, and I've been at my surgery, like I had a six month break in between, but like I've been there for over four years now. And um, when it gets to May, I'll have been back there for two. Yeah. So, I don't know, I enjoy my job. I would love to do makeup as a job or, but I just, I don't really like doing makeup on other people, so it would be nice if I could do YouTube for a job. That would be amazing. But at the moment, you know, I'm just doing this, obviously, as a hobby. And we'll see where it goes. Now, I've done these bits. I'm now going to go in with... Now, this one isn't... It isn't a Colourpop shade. So I'm cheating a little bit, but it's a Makeup Geek one. And it's in the shade Poppy and I really like it. And so I'm just gonna pop it there. Okay. And now I'm going to, this is the fun part, like this has all the writing on it and then when I wipe my brush on it, I'm weird. <coughs> Ugh. So I'm just going to take my little yellow shade here. This one's, I think it's the shade Tiki, if I remember right. Yep, shade Tiki, there you go. Just a nice yellowy shade. And I'm just going to pop that up the top there. There's like a transition shade. Because I do know that 
sometimes I like taking it way up really dark. I feel like it does look a bit like drag makeup. But sometimes, you know, that's just the look I'm feeling. But other times it's good to put a lighter transition shade there. And yeah. I like both ways. And I'm kind of just using, even though I just showed you all the brushes I have, I'm just using the same brush for the whole look. Whoops. Less brushes to clean, am I right? <laughs> so I think before I go back to work, Shell and I are going to go out to the Weir. Which will be nice. So we don't really have any beaches near us. Um, the nearest beaches are like freaking ages away. So we're going to go to the Weir, which is like our local lake where you can go and swim there and maybe we'll take some snacks and just chill there so yeah I'm excited for that maybe I need a better blend I need a blending brush let's face it this one will do it's more for you Jaclyn Hill obviously JH31 they're also soft these brushes I love them they're like so nice. And while I'm off work, I thought I may as well film a couple of videos instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing, which is boring. <laughs> Putting laundry away. So, yeah, so much fun. <laughs> so I haven't cleaned this brush, probably should, but instead I'll just colour in more of my palette to make it really filthy. Now, I got my pout brush cleaner here. And I got my claw. Which isn't here. So anyway, it's going in my pajamas. That's okay. And yes, I'm filming and it's like nearly lunchtime and I'm still in my pajamas. But I'm off work, so don't judge me. <laughs> cool. Right. <coughs> Ugh. I'm just going to go in with this little purple shade here, just for the outer corner. It's in the shade 143. It doesn't have a name, it's got a number. So. I hope this is going to go with the look. Don't mind playing around with a bit of colour. Now I'm just going to get my blending brush. And blend it in. Is everybody back at work and school and uni and everything yet? Or have you still got more time off? Um, if you've still got time off, what are you doing with the rest of your holidays? Are you relaxing? Are you catching up on stuff? Are you getting organised for this, like, year? Because I'm just going to be relaxing, getting stuff done around the house when I stop filming videos. And yeah. Not much. Cashel's already gone back to work, so. Just chilling in the house by myself, which is fun because I get to make videos. Okay, now gonna do a halo eye as always one day I'll do a cut crease halo eye first I think my dogs are sick of the heat <laughs> it is pretty stinking hot Oop. I'm gonna do some shimmer shade in the middle Okay, 
Okay, done the halo eyes. Now the shade I'm gonna go for in the middle, got some new ones to pick from. I'm gonna go in with this goldy shade here. This one is the shade Chauffeur. And I really find, oh, I put way too much on there. Really find with shadows that you want to make pop in the middle of your halo. You really need to, or for me anyway, I really feel like a brush doesn't work that well. Putting it on with your finger really helps. And maybe I'll just mix in a little bit of this pinky shade here. That's going to make a difference, I don't know. Now, that colour was the shade Solstice with the Mostest. So I feel like that's a pretty, pretty colourful look. Now I'm going to go on and get, found, get eyeshadow on my face. Okay, so time to test the foundation out. <coughs> I've got this brush here, it's the JH03, and I've got my foundation here. <laughs> Not sure I know how to open it first. I'm hoping I. Whoops. Pick the right shade. I don't know how much of this you need. Probably not this much, but anyway. Maybe I'll need more. I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. I think I picked a good shade. That's pretty good coverage, I would say. Like, for me anyway, like, medium to full. I don't really have many scars and blemishes to <coughs> cover up. But yeah, seems to blend out okay with this brush. But I do feel like this eye is blended out more than that eye. Yay. So let's go back in with another blend or the same blending brush and just blend out a little bit there. See? I don't know. I feel like and there's me taking it right up to the top again. But it needs a little bit more blending, that's all.
Okay, so. <coughs> now for concealer, I thought I had a Colourpop one somewhere. But I think I may have donated it to my sister. So we will probably just have to use my Makeup Revolution one. So bear with me. So, got my Conceal and Define Concealer by Makeup Revolution. It's in the shade C2, and it's pretty close, closely matched with my foundation here. So, yeah. I just go through so much of this stuff. It's amazing. I really, like, I still want to try Shape Tape at some point. I would really like it in a PR package. But yeah. <coughs> but this one is cheap. It works really well. And it's kind of apparently the dupe for shape tape. So I mean, why go and spend $37 on a concealer in some ways? Like, obviously I've heard it's really, really good. And I do really want to try it. But if you can get one for nine dollars like until i can convince myself to spend that kind of money on one product because i feel like makeup in america is way cheaper and they have ulta and then you get all the rewards and stuff and it ends up being pretty damn cheap whereas like you get the sephora reward rewards and stuff but you don't get much for them like, you have to spend a fair bit to get a little amount back, whereas people in America get stuff from Ulta and they get it so cheap, and it's not fair. Whenever I'm blending up my concealer, I always seem to blend it into my eye. Like there, it's not too bad. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a bit too much. Let's blend it back out a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to use the Astralis Panada Powder this time. <coughs> this cough, man. It's driving me crazy. Just going to use a big, huge powder brush. And this is the JH01. I've never seen a powder brush this big. It's awesome. So banana powder is used to kind of brighten up your face. And yeah. I'm going to brighten up all my face. Lots of powder, powder and up my whole face. There's actually so much product in here, like I use a fair bit, as you can tell. It hasn't even like come close to hitting pan yet. It's amazing. So now I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This on the other hand, it's taken me ages to hit pan, but I did it, so. Let me get this brush here for contour, I suppose. Oh, I used the other one last time. Let's use this one. Oh, no, I didn't. This one. It's the JH04. So I'm just going to pop that one in. And I have a Colourpop brow pomade too. I totally forgot. 
let's not do that. See, I really like Colourpop's products. They're cheap and they're really good quality. Um, the only downside is they're an American company. So for me, I like to wait until they have a sale on or free shipping worldwide. Just things like that makes it a little bit cheaper and so I get more for my money that way or I have to wait just till the exchange rate's good. Because sometimes it's not good and that makes it not so cheap. But on, on the whole, it is a cheap brand. So, like, cheap money-wise, not cheap quality. It is really good quality. Now, I'm going to try this brush out for my nose contour today. This one is the JH10. I'm just going to get a bit of bronzer. part of it <coughs> now it's got to blend it I'm going to do that using the JH05 brush because you want your nose to be snatched but you don't want to be able to see it too clearly like there's a fine line literally between it being too bold and like too blended Okay, now for blush. I'm going to try a different blush. I always use my Essence one. I'm just going to fish out another one. <coughs> I think I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Blush Collection like palette. It's got a really nice blush in there that I want to use. I'm just going to pop a bit on a brush. I don't have any colour pop blushes. Maybe I should have used a pink eyeshadow for the blush. But anyway, we've done this now. It takes a lot of blending because I packed it on. Whoops. I like a lot of blush. A lot of blush. If you can't already tell. Cool. Now I'm going to show you. I have the Colourpop Highlighter Palette. Somewhere. But. I feel like my... I don't know where it's gone. So I'm going to use a highlighter from the brand K Rose B Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this shade here. It's just in like individual pans. Whoop. I'll get it so you can see it properly. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, I don't have the shade names on them. I will find out what it is and I'll leave it in the description. And yeah. So let me get... This highlighter brush again from the last video and it's the JH08 brush. So I'm just going to pick it a bit here. And K Rose B Cosmetics is a British brand. Um, I've ordered from Kelly a few times and their products are just gorgeous. Like. I love them. And look how blinding this highlight is. 
and I didn't wet my brush or anything. It's just there. It's just blinding. I put some on my nose. On the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose. Now I'm really glowy. Awesome. Right. That's that bit. Now I'm going to go off camera and do my brows and my lashes and then I'll be back. So I'm back. I've applied my lashes. I just used my cheapy ones from Wish. Um, again with this crappy lash glue that I don't really like but they're staying on at the moment so if they start peeling off don't be surprised I can't really get the inner corners to stay but oh well we'll just get on with it <laughs> so the brow pomade I used was black and brown it was a color pop one I forgot how much I actually really like this pomade um, it hasn't dried out yet so that's a bonus and now I'm going to do my bottom lashes uh, which colors should I use I don't know Don't know. Let's have a look. Let's if I can find something in this shimmery palette because I like this one. Um, I'll take this little brush here and I'm going to go with kind of maybe a mix of this one and this one here. I think I've got a heap of eyeshadow in my eye. Just a light subtle bit under there. Most of that went in my eyeball. So there we go. And I'm just going to do my bottom lashes and then we'll get on to lips. These eyelashes don't like me in the middle there, but anyway. Just going to get my mirror forward a little bit. There we go. Now for lips. I've picked out a couple of products I'm going to use on my lips. I've got the Ultra Matte Lip in Love Bug. And I've got the Ultra Glossy Lip in Obviously. Yep. Nice glittery lip after the matte. So. The matte's always dry down darker than they look in the tube.
So there's that colour there. It's a bit dark. But we're going to gloss it up with this one. Nice big dark glossy lip there. There we go. Now I never use setting spray because I do these looks for YouTube and then I don't use them. But I did get the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It's cherry scented for oh, when I went shopping after Christmas. Let's give it a try. I smelt it in the shop and it smelled really nice. Mm. That smells so good. Right. That smells so good. I want to do that again. Mm. Honestly, I could drink that. Huh. <laughs> Lash disaster. Fixed. Okay. Not really. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Again, if you're a new subscriber, welcome and thank you for watching my video. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday at six o'clock or around about that time because sometimes like, on Wednesday I'll be at work, so I'll start uploading it before I finish work, and then it takes forever to upload. So sometimes they're a bit late, and other times on a Sunday when obviously I'm not at work, I get a bit excited and upload them early. But yeah, it's around 6 o'clock on Wednesdays and Sundays, so I'll see you in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave any constructive criticism below, any comments, um, any future look requests. Leave them in the comments, and I'll read through them all. And yeah, I really like, I don't like the way this lash keeps coming off, but hopefully it'll stay for a bit longer. <laughs> or not. I really need to get some more duo glue, or if anyone's got any other lash glue recommendations, let me know as well. But duo glue is the one at the moment, and I freaking still lost it. So anyway, this is my look. Leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.